our main requirement for a CDN is reliability, and I'm not talking about 99% reliability. When you're in the news business, we, we want 100% reliability. But there are other options for CDN to help us, and that includes analytics, which is an increasingly complicated and fragmented world when you're using multiple devices. And just general advice, really, on delivery and streaming. I mean, CDNs are experts. Someone we can go, a relationship we can have with someone to help us in a complicated environment. Well, I think CDNs, opportunities, they should think more beyond the, uh, what exactly the core value of what they do, to the margins, because I think there's real opportunities for them. Um, if they go to the, uh, the market and say, we are CDN, people's eyes are going to glaze over. If they say, we can concentrate, help you on delivery, their eyes will be wide open because it is difficult, it's fragmented, and people are looking for help. So I think there's real opportunities there. And if you look at uh, things like The Guardian, the Reuters, the Wall Street Journal in terms of their apps for the iPad, the very delivery um, in terms of video, delivery focused. And I think CDNs have got a good opportunity in that sort of world. I call it pot plant TV because you're always seeing a pot plant behind the person that's being interviewed in the office. All these people want to get involved in video and they need CDNs to help them. Well, you're talking about the consistency of CDNs, I think they do a really good job. I think they're the unsung heroes of the industry. So you're not going to find me criticising them because we have a good relationship. And um, generally, I mean, there are, always, there are always exceptions to the rule, but generally I think CDNs grasp a very difficult, under the bonnet, there's a lot going on that we don't see, and I think they do a, a, a very good job.